What's up, guys? Marlon back here with another freaking video. And I am so pissed off right now. I wasted literally four hours of my life that I can't get back. Okay? And it was me and the wifey and my homeboy, Farmer. Shout out to Farmer, the devout joystick. But what the heck was that? The Game Awards 2019 was a boring horrifying piece of garbage dumpster fire presentation what the heck was that man nintendo put it out a tweet and said yo tune into the game awards everybody got hype i'm not gonna sit here and said that they said that they're going to show anything smash wise as far as dlc character we figured because they did it last year that they were gonna do it this year and so smash fans are very upset I'm not really upset like that when it comes to not seeing the fifth and final DLC character. Yes, I was hoping that we will see it, but at the same time, Nintendo, they got their plans and everything. And I feel like Nintendo was so freaking absent at this Game Awards. Like, yes, we got some nominations for some good stuff, Fire Emblem, right? And then we got some Smash stuff as well that got recognized, but that's cool and all. And then a couple little stuff here and there, Nintendo did not have... A strong presence at the game awards this year okay everything I felt like was just mainly focused on Hideo Kojima Death Stranding and of course there's a lot of new reveals that most of them I don't even care for now there's the draw dropper for me was bravely default too you know what I mean I'm not gonna say the show was entirely garbage there was some good stuff there was some good stuff but there was a lot of bad and the bad outweighs the good with the game awards and i felt like reggie oh my god what the heck you have a legend dog you have a legend come up on stage just to present it best indie game really and you jeff keely bro i met you at e3 you better than that dog you better than that you have a legend a icon of video games come up on stage just to present indie games they use reggie i felt like that was a waste of time they could have gotten somebody else to do that crap but you got a legend you got an icon to come up to talk about some indie crap some indie garbage really how about you have this man come up there and announce something for Nintendo? No Metroid Prime 4, no Breath of the Wild 2, no Bayonetta 3, no Metroid Prime Trilogy, nothing new groundbreaking. I mean, Bravely Default 2 is amazing, and there was a couple other games here and there for Switch, but not the first party titles that we were expecting. Wow. Complete waste of time. Complete waste waste of time seriously what the heck was that and then you guys keep showing the same crap over and over again the same boring garbage commercials over and over and over again come on dog we better than this seriously you might as well just cancel the freaking game awards man because moving forward a lot of people like me it's just like I'm going to be second guessing myself to even waste my time streaming this crap for three hours. I started an hour early because I wanted to start speculations. We wanted to start talking about this crap. And this is it. That's it. Sekiro, I'm not mad that Sekiro won game of the year as long as Death Stranding did not win. Because I, I felt like that was unfair to a lot of games for Death Stranding to win game of the year. If that's the case, throw Luigi Mansion 3 up in there. Throw Fire Emblem up in there. Throw Pokemon up in there. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, dog. Come on. And I'm telling you, Death Stranding was written all over it. Yeah, hubby. Yeah, my hubby is Hideo Kojima. That's what Jeff was saying. Really? That was rigged. It was just favoritism. I was just like, wow. I knew Hideo Kojima was going to go up on stage to collect an award. And sure enough, he did. Now, granted, I was really, really excited to see that PlayStation 5 game. I was like, holy cow, that looks incredible. Now, let's talk about Microsoft. Wow, that is a shocker. That came out of left field. 
okay? Because nobody thought that Microsoft was going to reveal the Project Scarlet, their next system at the Video Game Awards. That thing looks like a PC tower, okay? Like a regular PC tower. It looks like a trash bin. It looks like a, um, a printer, one of those modern printers or whatever, like a wireless printer or whatever. Like it just looks like so many different things. A trash bin. It looks like a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker box, bruh. Wow. But you know what? I rather it look like that as long as it's it's properly cooled because we're hearing that it's going to be super powerful. All I really care about is the games. And out of all the games that they could have shown, nothing towards Hellblade 2. Okay, Hellblade was a decent game. I was thinking maybe they could show some Halo footage or maybe they could show, I don't know, something brand new. Maybe Banjo, a new Banjo game. Something that would truly uh, show us what the Xbox, you know, Series X. And the name is so freaking confusing. Don't be like Nintendo with the Wii U with the poor marketing as far as the name. Xbox Series X simply means to me that there's going to be series different versions of the xbox maybe this one is the more powerful one because they did say that you, they they have a um, code name anaconda and lockhart or something like that so maybe this is the anaconda one and then we might get a much more lower end one or whatever maybe it's going to be all digital who knows but i was surprised to see phil spencer up on stage talking about this xbox series x of course we know that it's coming out around the same time as the ps5 and everything price we already know about just about so we know that it's probably going to be 500 dollars, just like the ps5 but they could have shown more i mean yes the the hellblade 2 was in-game engine the whole thing that they shown but i was expecting like real gameplay i wasn't expecting that garbage like so yeah next that get that gets out of the way and like i said the ps5 game actually looks really really good ghost of tsushima looks good final fantasy 7 remake looks phenomenal looks phenomenal i was blown away by that it was true that they were saying that they improved the engine and everything but other than that guys it was a waste of time waste of time they hyped this thing up right they shortchanged nintendo what a slap to the face to nintendo fans and reggie fisa may a freaking legend you can tell in his face you can tell in his eyes that bro i don't even want to be up here to talk about freaking indie stuff really you used a legend you used a legend i'm so freaking pissed off if it was me like reggie i'd be like nah pass me the cup bro pass the cup bro i don't want to drink from that cup i don't want to drink from that cup Wow, dog. Wow. Very disappointed. This is really sad, man. This is really sad. This is abomination to video games. This gaming award show should not be a thing. It's it's a joke. I had the wifey right next to me in the stream and she was like ready to fall a freaking sleep. She was like, what the heck is this? What is this? This is boring as crap. There was a lot of yay. And there was a lot of Freaking dumpster fire. Freaking garbage. There's a lot of games that I thought that would win certain nominations, but it didn't because the whole thing was a setup. The whole thing was rigged. They're talking, they spent so much freaking time talking about Samsung's new QLED TV. Nobody freaking cares. Nobody freaking cares. Right? Seriously. But that was a complete 100% garbage it was terrible it was really really terrible like i said there was some good parts in it but let me know what you guys think about the game awards 2019 i mean i i just literally wasted my time i sat down my kneecaps was hurting i was getting frustrated and i'm like look enough is enough this this enough is enough this is complete bs okay and where is Nintendo? Where was the strong Nintendo present? I think last year Nintendo have a much more uh, had, sorry, a, a stronger presence at the video game awards. But this was 100% garbage. This should be canceled. Get out of my face, dog.